comes to rivalries, Minnesota and Wisconsin have some good ones. There's Vikings Packers, mm -hmm. Gophers Badgers, yep. Twins Brewers, and the eternal argument over who has a better state fair. And we know the answer to all these questions, sure don't we? Sure we do. But sometimes those rooting interests can go a bit too far, and that certainly was the case this past weekend. At Milwaukee's Summerfest Music Celebration, Paul Bloom joining us with the story of a young Minnesota girl whose moment in the spotlight was nearly ruined by some unruly diehard <laughs> cheeseheads. Oh, yeah, this is a tough one, Jeff. And I, let's face it, it is all right to boo a little bit when rival professional athletes come to town and beat up on your home team. It's normal, natural, feels good, right? But you do have to draw the line somewhere. Like when a terrified seven-year-old girl is asked to perform before 20,000 screaming fans, even if it is in so-called enemy territory. It was a little girl's dream come true. As a mom, it's just totally overwhelming. A chance to sing with her musical idol on stage at a sold-out concert. But that experience was nearly hijacked. A chorus of boos rained down by a raucous partisan crowd. Did I mention she was seven? Yeah, some of you were booing a seven-year-old girl. Like what if that was your child that was up there? And what if she did start to cry? She grew up on Meet future star Bella Skaya. Just seven, Bella knows the lyrics to all the songs performed by her favorite country pop group, Lady Antebellum. I like their music, and I think they're good singers. Bella even did a school report on the group's lead singer, Hilary Scott. So when Mom won a meet and greet with the band, the Skyas were first in line for Saturday night's show at Milwaukee's Summerfest music extravaganza. Hillary asked me where we were sitting, and I said, well, we're sitting close to the front on the left side of the stage. That must have been enough. <laughs> because Hillary eventually plucked the soon-to-be third grader right out of the crowd. Minnesota. But before she could belt out a note, the cheeseheads from Wisconsin nearly booed poor Bella right off the stage. I was just shocked. And then I saw her eyes. She got a little bit nervous. Thought, oh, my gosh, she's going to cry. Melissa Skaya was just feet away, recording it all on her iPhone video camera. So I knew it was a Minnesota a Vikings, you know, Wisconsin, Green Bay Packers reference, but she had no idea. But rather than wilt, Bella stood strong. <laughs> and nailed American Honey winning over everyone at the show. I'm just, like, nervous. One admirer in the audience was Fox Milwaukee anchor Ted Perry. She was seven. Her name was Bella. She was cute. Perry took the airways afterwards for his nightly editorial to praise the young Minnesotan and to admonish those boo birds. Bella, honey, I don't know if you're ever going to see this, but you need to know we are better people than that, and I'm sorry it happened to you, but you showed all of them, kid. <laughs> Like she did such a good job singing that she represented Minnesota well, Minneapolis well, and once again the Vikings beat the Packers. So that's my summary of it all. A great summary. As you saw, I did play the Milwaukee editorial for Bella and her mom. Both were touched by the news anchor's apology and said all the good far outweighed the momentary booing for her efforts. Bella, as you saw, received that autographed tambourine from Lady Antebellum. The message written by lead singer Hilary Scott, quote, You are a star, Bella. We love you. Oh, it's the feel-good story of the week. Love it.